In this video, I'm going to walk you through the world's simplest two-step strategy for guided reading documentation, data, and progress monitoring. Step one, step two. This is the exact strategy I use to monitor, record, and increase student reading levels to over 200% faster than my teaching peers nationwide. I should warn you, this video isn't going to be a long-winded bunch of theory and research from universities. Instead, everything I'm going to show you is going to be simple to use and actionable. Keep watching. Let's face it, there are some delightfully decorated documentation tools out there. Many you have to pay for. Also, there are some overly complex tools, usually designed by the non-teachers in the school. Guided reading documentation and data gathering can be hard. It can be even harder when you don't have the right tools at your fingertip, or worse, when someone dictates the tools for you that don't actually work. You know the stuff I'm talking about. Some of those guided reading binders, data war rooms and data walls, sticky notes that fall off, handwritten pages that are hard to aggregate. Oh, and I need to aggregate the data for parent meetings. The tools out there aren't completely useless, but they're not going to help you be more efficient with your data and use the data to rocket your students to the highest levels at the fastest rate they possibly can. Why? Because everyone is following the same advice, thus getting the same results. It's the law of averages. So to get your students to outperform, you need to do something different, something more efficient to allow you to be more effective. This two-step strategy is just one small way to help you with that. I've used this tool and help others use it to gain massive results with students. And it's not just based on my experience. It's also based on the research and the work of other literary experts. Step one, record research-based reading behaviors. And you're probably already familiar with this, but you have your guided reading group sitting around you and they're all reading or whisper reading. And you know not to talk to them or interrupt them during the reading process. Instead, you closely observe the reading behaviors. Make notes of one strategy they use the most and one inefficiency you observe the most. That's it. You're making notes of their reading behaviors. Now it helps immensely if you already have a list of research-based reading behaviors to select from, especially in a digital format. Because three to four students with you, it's just too much to do with handwriting. Now, instead of doing all that work yourself, I've provided one for you in the spreadsheet download. It's based on Jan Richardson's guided reading resources, so you can trust its credibility. Record the estimated words correct per minute. This provides you with quantitative data to measure progress over time. It's a type of informal running record. The great thing is, your formative data can drive your lesson planning. It provides a formal record of learning and it's easy to aggregate. What do you mean, aggregate the data? Look, you know how a specialist, a principal, parents, or an IEP meeting requires you to have data on hand? Like sometimes within a, a minute's notice or without much notice? This two-step guided reading data tool does all the work for you. Simply sort for the student you need data for or the group of students, and then create a graph for the time period you need. The data is summarized for you and student progress is visual for all stakeholders to see. <laughs> simple as that. Do you see that? I hope you can see the potential of this simple two-step strategy. Even more, I hope you can see how your guided reading documentation and data can become more efficient and less complex. So that's it for the two-step strategy. Did you learn something new from this video? If so, please like the video or share it with a friend. Remember, there's a free download of the guided reading documentation and data spreadsheet. So grab that, 
by pressing the appropriate button below. Now, I wanna turn it over to you. Which of the two steps do you want to use in your classroom this week? Are you going to try out the recording of the research-based reading behaviors? Or are you going to try to record estimated words correct per minute during guided reading? Let me know by leaving me a comment.